very anxious right now. Incredibly nervous because I feel like you guys won't believe anything that I'm saying. That's exactly how I think. People that I know, okay, I tell them that I'm a horrible person and they don't believe me, but that's because they don't actually, like, know me. Because, like, I know myself better than anyone else does. But yes, I feel like I'm a horrible person because people will be like, no, I think you're great. And I'm like, no, mm -mm, that's wrong. And I will never believe that they believe that. I never believe people, ever. Even, no matter what it is, if they compliment me about anything, I do not believe them to be bone, to like the depths of my human life. I do not believe them, and they think I'm just joking around, but I'm not. I like truly do not believe them. When they give me compliments, I know that they're lying, because people give compliments just to be nice sometimes. So I know that they're lying, and I truly believe that people lie to me. No. They're genuinely beautiful people on this earth. I just don't believe that about myself. I definitely believe that about other people. Yeah, I see myself the correct way. I know them. I really know. Fun fact, Johnny. I was anorexic for three years, and I still struggle with it every single day. I hate it that I can't hide it anymore because they can't do anything to help me. I guarantee it they can't do anything and then I feel bad for like making them waste their breath on me and their energy on me because it is a waste. Um, I don't know why this one's like the hardest one for me to talk about because it's like not even a big deal. But I've never experienced like love before, not like romantically, which is also true. I've never experienced that, or not like family because that's like love that's required at birth. But like friendship, love. I've never experienced that before, and I've always wanted to. Like, that was always, like, I used to, like, pray in my bed that God would send me a best friend, because I, like, felt so alone, and this was, like, elementary school, and I would be like, God, I want her to be like this and this, and I want her like this, and it never happened, and I, it, like, it, they're just, I've always wanted like a group of friends that chooses me first. I feel like I have zero friends. Zero like real friends. And it sucks. But like, my coworkers make me anxious. My friends make me anxious. My siblings make me anxious. My future makes me anxious, like I can't get away. But my first anxiety attack ever was um, in fifth grade. And my teacher, Miss Hagedorn, was known to be like the mean teacher, which every teacher is kind of known to be that. But anyways, uh, she talked about how like your grades in fifth grade affect you getting into college. And that freaked me out so much. I had to stay home for a week because like I thought I was going to vomit anytime I breathed mm. and my mom had to make a bed for me in the bathroom because I was like just and I didn't know what it was and my mom knew but she knew I like wouldn't fully grasp it and like it was awful worst week of my life and I'll never forget it but I have never been able to escape it I still feel like my heart starts pounding and I feel like I have to vomit anytime I get anxious. If you like saw a picture of my family, you would think that it was like really awesome. My parents just don't trust me anymore, which really sucks because I don't lie to them. I could have lied to my mom when she asked me, is anything wrong? I could have been like, no, I'm fine, I'm just tired. Yeah. But I didn't lie. I told them. I tell them pretty much everything, and they still don't trust me, and it sucks.
So my older brother physically abused me until I was 14. I didn't really see it as abuse, and then one day my mom was like, I think you're having these problems because of this. And I was like, oh my god. Because I thought it was normal for people to do that, so whatever. Very afraid of like being alone. Just in a relationship or friendships or whatever, I hate being by myself. Which, like, it's awful. The only time I can be is, like, if I'm about to go to sleep and I'm watching That So Raven on my laptop because it's funny as fuck. But yeah, I'm really afraid of being alone because I don't think anyone can really put up with all of this horribleness forever.